Hey guys, JT here, Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. Old man's here too, out with the boy today. Happy Wednesday to you, by the way. Happy Wednesday. We are uh, going out to do some of our favorite properties. And we're in this video, we're gonna show some uh, mowing, blowing, trimming and edging. Uh, and regarding uh, last video on Saturday, we showed you uh, findlotsize.com. It's an awesome program, and you can see why we actually go out and put our eyes on every estimate that we do. Uh, if we didn't, we'd be losing a lot of money this season, right? Mm -hmm. If we just used findlotsize.com. It's a great tool, though, and I encourage people to use it. Uh, it really, really is very helpful. Anyway, uh, enjoy this video. In this video, we're going to do, like I said, mow and blow and trimming and edging. But we're also going to talk about uh, two of our most unfavorite clients uh, within the last several weeks. In fact, it all happened this last week, and we're going to tell you those stories right after the intro. So guys, earlier we were talking about uh, a couple difficult clients that we've been dealing with. We actually dealt with them both on the same day, and it was yesterday. Uh, one of them called me up. Uh, Young Buck was out with Shade, and uh, they were in our um, uh, duplex uh, area, and they were doing the duplexes, and they were unable to get into the backyard of one of the one of the ladies because she had. Uh, put her paddle lock through the latch on the back of the gate. She didn't close the paddle lock, but it was it was through the, the latch, and without climbing over the rotted out wooden fence to undo it, we couldn't get in, so he didn't do it. Uh, we had planned on calling them uh, that afternoon because they weren't home, they tried to knock, and to let them know, hey, you forgot to unlock your thing, next time we're in the area, we'll get back there and cut it. But she beat us to it, she called me, as soon as she got home and noticed that her backyard hadn't been cut and she proceeded to yell at me uh yell at me not not uh, talk loudly she was yelling at me and berating me basically uh because the boys didn't cut her backyard and they better get their butts back out there to cut it i tried to explain to her that the uh the gate was locked uh, but she wasn't having it uh she insisted that it wasn't locked and that the only way it was locked is if the paddle lock was closed and it didn't count if it was just through the latch. It's the same difference. Uh, we can't get the gate open if the paddle lock is through the latch and I tried to explain that to her uh, at which point she called me a liar uh, and berated me even more. Now, is there mental difficulty uh, associated with this lady? I think there might be, but uh, yeah, there probably is. But I tell you guys, uh, I won't put up with it from anybody. And you know, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry if it's a mental thing for her, but I just won't do it. I won't be disrespected like that. And it's just not worth our time for a $35 lawn. So we'll be dropping her next year. We're gonna finish out the rest of the year with her, uh, but we're gonna be dropping her next year. Now the other one was a yard that JT did last week. Uh, and we could tell already when we went to give the estimate that this was gonna be a very difficult client to deal with, very exacting. Uh, she, kinda, she kinda told us in advance that no matter what kind of job we did, it wasn't gonna be good enough for her husband. And uh, last week when he cut it, he, he, with that in mind, he took extra care, uh, extra time to try to get the job done perfectly. And uh, it wasn't exactly to her liking. Uh, although it was probably some of the best work that he's ever done. Uh, but for her, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect. Uh, and her husband wasn't, it was fine for her, she said. Uh, looked great to her, but her husband wasn't going to like it. So we said, well, just give us a call and let us know if you'd like us to come back. Well, we never heard anything. So we assumed uh, incorrectly that her husband liked it. So JT showed up yesterday uh, to do the weekly on it. And uh, when he got there, he realized that the grass had already been cut. They'd already cut it, somebody cut it. 
so I knocked on the door and she answered the door and she said oh yeah she said uh, my husband didn't really like the way you did it last week so I got my brother-in-law to do it this week she didn't call us or nothing so basically we wasted a trip out there that's disrespectful uh, on both you know if we didn't go out there and didn't call that would be disrespectful uh, but for her basically canceling our service this week was disrespectful so my my son asks so does that mean that we're that we're done uh, or done servicing your yard and that's fine if we are just you should let, let us know and she said well I'll let you know by Sunday whether whether that's the case or not and uh, I told my son when he told me that 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 is in fact the case whether she calls us by Sunday or not uh, I think we're just gonna go our separate ways we'll just tell them that we don't think we can please them uh, we can recommend a couple other places that they may want to try but but they're, pr they're probably not going to please them either uh, and we'll go our separate ways it's just not worth the aggravation she's a nice lady uh, but her husband seems to be kind of kind of demanding and I don't know I don't know if we could do it any better than he did it do you think you could he doesn't think he could do it any better so that might be a limitation on us maybe we're not a premier lawn care company but on the other hand maybe they're just way too demanding and they're not gonna like anything that anybody does for them I don't think they're gonna like anything so I even sprayed off their edges of their driveway off with the hose as well as done. so anyway guys lesson learned on that listen we don't have to put up with disrespect any kind of way so we have too many clients uh, and too many people calling us every single day we can't uh, we're turning business away so to put up with somebody that's that's like that uh, just not gonna happen for Acme Moen right right that's right. He says that's right. That's right, Dad. That's right, he says. He's not very happy with me for some reason. I'm just tired today, guys. We had a long night. We had a little family night at the house, and it was one of my childhood best friend's birthdays last night. A lot going on. So, yeah, it was, a, it was kind of a late night last night. And we woke up this morning. When we woke up, we thought we only had three yards to do. We thought... Uh, we thought, and then we got a call to right down where we were working to do another estimate. And uh, I gave them the estimate, and to my surprise, they took it. So we had to do that one, and that one took some time. 130 bucks. So, 45 minutes. Yeah. 45 minutes, 130 bucks. So not bad. Anyway, enjoy the mowing and stuff, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the video. I think that's enough of us bitching about stuff. That's all we do is bitch about stuff. Seems like that's all we did on this video was, <laughs> was complain. We'll be in a better mood at the end of the video, I promise.
so so tonight we're sitting we've got a special treat my next door neighbor also does lawn care with her husband their company's called bnr she's more than just lawn a next care. door neighbor she's more, our family yeah. yeah well she's our next door neighbor she's our family and she's our competition in that tuttle mustang area Go so, baby. <laughs> so so barb and and roy uh bnr lawn care service so we wanted we were just shooting the sh shooting the breeze <laughs> got to keep it pg-13 barb uh -huh. yeah. we were just shooting the breeze <laughs> say nothing we were just shooting the breeze about our uh pain in the butt clients and i'm sure everybody out there has got a pain in the butt clients and we shared two stories that happened to us yesterday with barb and and you've got the same experience right yeah i don't like i i'm out there to help somebody yeah I don't want to hurt their feelings. If I don't do a good job, I want them to tell me I didn't do a good job. If I do a good job, I want them to tell me. I want the respect from them that I'm giving to them. Yeah. You know? And if I do something wrong, I want to know. If I did something right, oh, please pat me on the back. Yeah. <laughs> tell me I did a good job. Yeah. We're the same way. We like being, we like being told that we've done yes. a good job. And, and, if, and if we've done something wrong, we want to be told. Right. Yeah. We don't mind being told, hey, yeah. the next time you guys come, could you could you improve upon this? Yeah, We've learned right. a lot because of that, right? So uh, one of those things was trimming all, along a wooden fence. Yes. The guy was like, you're eating up my fence. Yeah. We never even thought about it. Uh, right. And we, we, we took that it. and we corrected our aunt. Uh, you know our actions and we've developed techniques in order not to do that right, right. so we've become a better lawn care provider because of that right? right but there are some people that you just can't please that's right and those people they just it seems like they live to make you try to try to make you feel miserable about yourself and we just won't work for people like that no. i think if they're unhappy in their lives i think that, that there's something to that right because i don't think it's something that we do I think it's something else in their life, and we're there so they dump on us. Right. Right. So it's like I don't get dumped right. on. <laughs> I just go, okay, no problem. Right. It's a cho it's a choice. Yeah, it's a, it's choice. a choice, and I'm telling you, uh, you know, a lot of people that we cut lawns for, um, they live in nice houses and they they have yeah. good lives, and I think that they think that we may be a little bit below them, and they can treat yeah. us a different, you know, yeah, they can treat us a certain way. Yeah. But I can tell you, and this is something that you need to remember going forward, is you don't have to put up with any crap. Uh, you always give respect. And you should, if you give respect, you should expect respect I always in return, give respect. right? Always give it and expect it. Yeah. You don't have to put up with disrespect if you, if you don't deserve it. So guys, we had a, we had a, fun, we had a fun day today, uh, JT and I working. Uh, we I picked... went and spent money on my nails. <laughs> all right. It's all about you. Did it you want is, to say anything uh, else? Make a lot of money, honey. Love each other. And peace. peace. Hey, guys. We'll see you next time. Later. Cute. <laughs>